Hi, welcome back. I am Atsir from DMA. Today, I will show you three tips for better sight reading. Sight reading is a very important thing in music generally, in piano playing, of course, because sight reading helps you to uh, speed your time you're spending on reading some piece, musical piece, and that's a great thing if you don't have time or anything like that, or you simply want to learn some piano piece, this will be very useful to you, so you need to become a best sight reader than you can. Today I'm going to show you three tips to help you improve your sight reading. So if you're ready, let's begin. Okay, tip number one, stop looking at your hands. It's very important when you're sight reading, you simply must all the time look at notes, that sheets, because it's the first time actually you see those sheets. It's very important for you to look like <laughs> that's your arch enemies just look at the sheets, look, look, and try to play without looking at your hands. Because if you're simply doing this, so for example, you're playing some pieces and you're looking there and there and there and there, your brain going to, you know, make a problem. You will have a problem and your music will stop, your music will stop. But if you don't look at your hands, you're just looking at the sheet music and you're playing, nothing bad is going to happen, even uh, if you have some big jump, you know, for example, two octaves or stuff like that you need to play, it's okay to look quickly so you can play what the jump you need to play, but you need to get used to all the time look only at your sheet, not at your hands. The second tip is learn chord patterns. The chords are repeating, you know, if you learn that's a D minor, for example, C major, a minor, A major, this is the shape of A minor, A major. Basically, when you read and when you do sight reading, you need to recognize first and very quickly that chord uh, shape that you need to play, pattern, chord pattern that you need to play. For example, when you see D, A and F or stuff like that, you know, ah, that's a D minor. So it's very important for you to learn those chord patterns when you see it that chord patterns, for example, D minor or C major, it doesn't matter, that you know, aha, without thinking about, oh, what note is this? Is this F? Is this a D? Is this A or stuff like that? You simply look and when you see that shape, you see that pattern, you know, aha, I played that many times in my life, it's the D minor. So you just need to practice to play, to play, to play, to play a lot. And when you do that, after uh, some time, you will see, ah, I know this chord, ah, I don't even need to think about it, ah, I know this is those notes. You will see, your brain is going to work incredible and you will see a big progress when you learn chord patterns, but you can do that only if you play enough. Use some easier sheet music, use some easier pieces, see that chord patterns and you're going to be very pleased. The third and final tip for today is play every chord slow. So don't rush, there is no need for you to hurry up, there is no need for you to rush or do anything like that. Your sight reading, you want to read that music good, there is no need for you to do anything quickly, just try it and play it slow, see what chords you need to play, anytime you need to play, just do it slowly and when you're done with that, you're going to be great, you're going to play good and you're going to be a lot more uh, relaxed and stuff like that when you're playing some new some new shit so those are the three tips i wanted to show you today this was everything i wanted to show you today i hope you had fun i surely did so until next time see you and stay tuned